Hello everybody, so let me get into the frame right here. I, excuse the mess by the way, I've been doing some spring cleaning if you want. I'm selling a whole bunch of stuff including a whole chunk of my video game collection. So it's all a bit of a mess right now. Just some cool things back here. Pierre Zola, the Boktai Game Boy Advance and the Shenmue's of course. So today's video is all about storing your video games because I've had a very sad, sad situation uh, recently when I, when I went through one of my favorite collections and that's the Warp and Kenji Eno collection and I took a look at real sound for the Sega Saturn and I was just looking at it and said oh god you can't really see it here but this one has like a plastic um, cover that slides over the case. It's factory that has a nice layer of clouds on there. The Dreamcast version has the same thing. And it was cracked. I was wondering why, why it's, it's pretty soft plastic. So there's no, there's no cracking going on. And I realized having this one sit on my shelf and having sunlight hit it over the years, and of course this one is like from the mid 90s, so it's over 20 years of sunlight hitting the spine and it became yellowed and brittle and it broke. Very sad. I'll insert some pictures and I realized I needed to change something. Uh, one thing is, right, I'm, I'm getting older. I like space in my, in my rooms and over the last two, two years, I didn't really have the chance to really show off my video game collection. It was locked in a closet somewhere and really, really a bit of a hassle to get all the games out of there. And I realized I don't really need to show off my games. But I have my games, I enjoy my games, but I, but I don't need the YouTuber shelf of games like behind me to, to show off to everyone, right? So I realized I needed to have a better, safer for the games, long-term solution for storing my games. So I scoured the internet, right? What am I supposed to do? How can I, how can I house all my video games without destroying them over the long term? And I, I found multiple solutions right there for the living rooms, like little boxes to put the things in. I, I looked up on the on, on YouTube like guides about how to store DVDs and CDs and they, that crazy method but throw away the case like get a plastic sheet and put everything in there like I'm not doing that and <laughs> I like my games too much for that and really at this point I I was kind of desperate right? what am I going to do I can't find a solution I like I had three criteria for that. I wanted something where you can close the door, right? No UV light coming in, no, not a lot of dust flying around. I wanted to have easy access to my video games. So if I open the door, I just can grab it, get a game out and I'm done. And another thing is that I wanted to save as, as much space as possible. Right? When you have the YouTuber style shelf over there, right, uh, it takes up a lot, of, a lot of space. It's very deep and the games don't reach all the way to the back. So there's only like this much shelf wasted uh, in your room. So I scoured the internet and then one tip I can give you. If you ever need to store something, office supplies are your friend. So I use this file cabinet we have over here right, for, for binders. And I looked up like uh, boxes for file cabinets and I found some and I have them right here. Let me just get them. Here they are. They look like this, like little cardboard boxes. Um, not, not the sturdiest thing in the world, but pretty nice. And these are for CD cases. You can see CD fits right in there. They exist for DVDs as well. So here's one unpacked. Let me just show you. So you have a, a lid up here so you can actually close the damn thing. 
and then you just put them together, they're little buttons and you, you put them together, the DVD fits in there and everything is hunky dory I tell you guys. So I fell in love with that <laughs> and I ordered a whole bunch of them and I put them all into my file cabinet and now I want to show you how I store all my games. One thing needs to be said, I'm a child of the disc era, of the DVDs, the mini DVDs for the GameCube, the CDs, the GD-ROMs. So my collection mainly consists of CD cases in all of its various forms, like the PAL PS1 cases, which are a hassle, the Dreamcast PAL cases, double CD cases, all of this. And that's always been a problem because when you have CD shelves, it's usually made to fit like one CD. And that's just not going to work. And I have a lot of DVDs. So if you have a lot of like Super Nintendo boxes um, or like to a certain extent uh, Mega Drive boxes, even though I have a solution for that as well, uh, it's, you may need to find another way to store them. Anyway, so let me grab you, the door has been opened and you can see there, everything is easily accessible for me. Down here, um, this is basically perfect. I think they're standardized, these file cabinets. Um, I have four DVD boxes, two CD boxes stacked on top of each other. And up here is, play, is space for four CD boxes. And what I did, so for additional protection, because right, if you have all of your games in there, they are knocking against each other. So I got a bunch of these plastic bags and just, I just bagged them. That's all I did. So like I said, I wanted them to be easily accessible. And that's what I achieved up here um, with these CD cases. Right? I just pull them out and there they are. You can flip through them. Look at the covers. Up here you can read all the spines and that's exactly what I wanted. So you have these CD cases and you just flip through the CDs. This solution made me like double, triple think about the games I have. Um, I, I'm selling a whole bunch of them because I just don't want them anymore. Um, but uh, I am in the process of, for example, I have Evolution for the Dreamcast, one of my favorite Dreamcast games. And I bought, where is it? The US version of Evolution. Because, first of all, I just completed my complete collection of US versions of Dreamcast JRPGs. Uh, extra video coming about that in the future. But I just think they're easier to store. They are prettier, these normal jewel case CD cases. And that's why I prefer them over the PAL Dreamcast games. This one is staying. This is part of my Space Channel 5 collection, right? I, I have like all of them. <laughs> so th these are staying, but over the long term, I want to get rid of a lot of my PAL, PS1 and Dreamcast games and replace them with the US versions. That's part of the plan right now. So these are the CD cases up here. Down here, in here, there are DS and 3DS games. No problem there. Now, one of my main problems with this is, um, yeah. when you look at this, right, it's great for sorting. There's a, a bit sticking out over the top, but right, if you want to pack them up for moving, because I lost a whole lot of CD cases to my last move. So one of the reasons for this is that they are move ready, right? Put the lid on, carry them into the truck, and then you're good to go for your next move. Um, so I, I wouldn't really stack things on top of this uh, when I'm moving, or I, I would just put the CD cases on top of like the DVD cases, because right, the lid is resting on the CD cases, not the safest thing to do. So these are the CD cases. Let's take a look at the DVDs because really these are just packed nicely. You can see 
CD cases fit, uh, DVD cases fit in there, including even the plastic bag they are all in. Uh, PS3 games, absolutely not a problem at all. I mean, they're smaller, right? PS4 games, same thing. Xbox One games, I don't have any, should be the same thing as well. So th this is just really comfortable for me, right? I mean, they're stacked on top of each other down there, but you can hear, see here, it's flush up there. So they're not resting on the DVD cases. I don't know what their plan was with these things, right? Why is it not flush up there? But I'm not making these boxes. I'm just making complaints. So, and down here, even more DVDs. All of the games. Tales of Vesperia just chilling out next to Banjo-Kazooie. And that's how I store my games now. UV protected, even with a damn lid, guys. No dust getting in. Uh, what you want to do, all of these come with a little sachet of um, anti-moisture thingies. So put them in there if you plan to store them for the long term. It just put all of this together again. In the future, and I mean with this in the near future, um, because... Well, oh no, no, it's, no, it's upside down, not upside down. The wrong way, the wrong way out, I don't know. So you can even label these if you want. I, I didn't because I know where everything is. Uh, maybe when the collection grows, by the way, over here, it's, it's full of games as well. I basically bought like a whole bunch of them, spent a whole bunch of money, but now it's set and done. So yeah, this is my storage solution. I hope you liked that. In the near future, there will be extra videos about how to protect and store certain games for the long term. So if you have a whole bunch of PAL Dreamcast games, I will show you how to store them without, uh, with at, le at least as little damage as possible. Um, and I will show you that, right? How to protect the manual and all of this. Do you have any questions about this? Do you want to see more about this? Um, I'm planning on doing a few more videos on the video game storage thing because I spent a lot of time researching and finding solutions and I finally found one that works for me. I would love to see yours. So if you have an interesting solution that's not just shelf of games, um, please do a video and send me a message. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, on YouTube, whatever. Just put a comment, right? I did a video, please check it out. I would love to see it. Um, this is far from complete, right? This is the solution right now, but if my game collection grows and I'm not selling in between, um, I need to find uh, maybe a better version of storing games. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit over this video and I see you again in the next one. Bye.